projects are certainly a summertime staple. And in my, my humble opinion, the messier, the better. But maybe you don't want that going on at your house. I don't know. Monica Foy is with us. She is the owner of Art, the Art Garage, which is a cool name, and you'll have to tell us what goes on at the Art Garage. What happens there? Well, we do um, after-school classes for kids and adults, and we also offer summer camps. So these summer camps, one of them, and they're, they're, they're weekly camps, and they all have different themes, but mm -hmm. a couple of the weeks are messy. What? Well, yeah, they're all messy. Okay. <laughs> but one's called Let's Get Messy. That's probably the one you're talking about. I'm talking about Let's Get Messy. Okay. But but as you said, all of them, I, any any time I can really roll up my sleeves and get all into it, I love it. So we're going to look at some of the projects that you brought with us. And one of them blew my mind. You're going to actually show us the secret. Mm -hmm. It's very secret. So what's how is this one made? I see some things in front of it. Well, the idea of these projects in particular are ones that you can do with um, things you probably find around your house. So um, no special you know, materials um, required. So the first one, the cupcake, was done with oil pastels. You could also use crayons. Um, and using a Q-tip and some baby oil, you can blend those just baby like paint. Baby oil. Yeah. Baby oil. Yeah, it works like a blending medium. It does. It turns it into like an oil paint. Huh? It does. It does. Very it's really cool. fun to do. And then scraps of paper. I guess you can yeah. use anything. Wrapping yeah. Paper or... We did this with the kids, and it has been such a popular project. They always ask to do more. Um, they're torn paper monsters, and so you can use any paper around your house. You can use wrapping paper, craft paper, um, construction paper, whatever you've got, newspaper. And you just start tearing shapes, and you start looking and realizing, oh, this looks like a head, or this looks like a, you know, a foot. And because it's monsters, anything goes. You can use um, buttons or googly eyes and just glue it all together. It's really fun to introduce collage. Love it. Okay, so now this one, the, the swan, or peacock, sorry. Yes. The peacock, okay. If you, if you look closely at the peacock, it's a texture. It's not just a picture. It actually has a texture to it. It's fascinating how you made this. Will you walk us through this one, Monica? So if you can use colored construction paper, um, I love black because you get better um, contrast that way with your chalk. But any kind of um, line drawing that you can create, you just use some Elmer's glue and you just apply it. And once that glue dries, so you just basically draw with glue. Okay. And um, once the glue dries, it looks kind of like this. I'm going to hold it up so you can see mm -hmm. that's the dried glue. And then you'll take chalk and start rubbing in with that. Let's see. You're uh, basically just kind of coloring it in. And what happens is the glue masks the paper underneath. So the, bl the glue keeps some nice, like since we use black paper, the, um, the lines are nice solid black and it doesn't, um, it doesn't stick. To the glue. And you so, can probably get in there with your fingers oh, and yeah, smear around. Yes. And, and of course, chalk is always messy, even the good, good old fashioned sidewalk chalk that you probably have in your garage. And so then you can just kind of blend it. And when you're done, you, um, you have this really strong and image. Vibrant. With, it's yeah, great. it I is. It's it. so fun. And it's such a great contrast to the bright chalk. So these camps go on weekly at the Art Garage. Mm -hmm. And what we will do is put the information up on our River City Live webpage so people can connect to you. Uh, give us just quickly some of the other um, topics other than Let's Get Messy. We have Meet the Greats. That's going on right now. Um, and so that's equally as messy, but each project helps us understand either a famous artist or a famous um, piece of art. Um, and then we have Adventures in Acrylic, which is a lot of canvas projects and acrylic paint. And sounds, then, of course, weekly classes. Sounds like a little something for everybody. Go ahead to our website to get the information. Monica, thank you so much. We will be right back.